I, let me tell you how I look at children. So, in other words, let's answer the most philosophical questions. What is a child? And how should you handle or treat a child in the way through their lives? Well, let me tell you my answers. So, I would think a child is like a person who's totally inexperienced in the world, of course, and that needs to be able to grab experiences from what he or she does in uh, the world as it is. So, they shouldn't be told anything unless if they are, if they want some to, someone to tell something. And they definitely should be let through because they're effectively like, like a gift that can open itself from inside out and that like, you, it's very hard to open it up from the outside of a gift. But, it, like, let me give, me give an example. Well, I learned to read at three years old, as you might know, from my two videos, present tense. It was speaks out of the first one where I've told that little fact. And, yeah. And then I was forced to learn to read again, effectively at school in groups 5, 3 to 8 and of course in our time that was a total waste of time well and all the other cases of something like this there are several but there are also several cases of the opposite happening children who are forced to read too early for their own pace, their own tempo and that would lead them to dislike it and they won't learn anything. It's an extrinsic motivation. They are forced into it under a certain threat or reward. And in that case, well, intrinsic motivation. The desire to learn something is obviously much stronger. And that is effectively that gift metaphor that I'm talking about. And this isn't just my vision, it has been scientifically proven time and time again, or at least once, that intrinsic motivation is stronger than extrinsic motivation, as it's called. Intrinsic motivation is the motivation that comes from one's self, and extrinsic motivation comes from a direct uh, impulse from someone else. And, yeah, that is that. Now, another little bit that I would tell about my vision of children, right? They shouldn't just learn about part of the world, about where they are. They should learn about the world as a whole. And practically, they don't at school. They're told everything, but they can't see it with their own eyes. They can't experience it when they want. And... Of course, that's because they're tied to a single location. In other words, or in one sentence, I would say, and I've said it a lot of times in the comments of several videos, just let the children be free. Anyway, that's it for now. See you next time. Bye. I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you do, please give a thumbs up and share this video with all your friends and perhaps consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you and I'll see you next time.